Welcome, welcome, my fellow familiars. So, today's week we will be looking at the red and green deck variations. So, the first one that I'll be trying here is a red green aggro deck. So, it is fairly well balanced red and green combination of very small creatures with insane pump ups. So, as you see here, hmm, well, this already is you bad start so let's draw a new hand okay you know what much better I will be keeping this hand guess our top priority here is we will get majoring bully out first our opponent is blue so not too scared that Ooh, looming spires I like it well then uh, let's just continue you know what I will be cracking it and getting a forest out there we go, there is the force confirmed. We do have titanic growth in case of emergency, so I have every intention of using it. So it will be mountain, majoring bully, applying glooming spires on majoring bully, and if necessary doing titanic growth. There is air roll eliminator. It's... Well, our opponent has what? A clue deck of some sorts? Hmm... Anyways, there we go, there is the majoring bully. Now, following this up, next turn definitely applying Glooming Spires to Majoring Bully. And then I'm going to have to debate whether or not to put Titanic Growth. If he does not block, I will most likely put it. If he does block, however, then um, I don't think I'll be wasting my time on Titanic Growth. So, there is the 3 mana. Press for answers. Ah, Majoring Bully gets tapped out. You know what? That's fine. He gets 2 extra clue tokens. I'm okay with it for now. Um, let's get another Majoring Bully out, so I'll take one damage, I don't mind. Can we draw into land, please? If we do, that'll be quite nice, please. Please be a land. Hmm. Question. Do we want to waste Looming Spires just to do Rush of Adrenaline next turn? I say, what the heck, why not? So next turn, it will be Rush of Adrenaline, 80 Titanic Growth. This gives Trample easily, and with Titanic Growth, I mean, what else can one possibly want, seriously. Not to mention that our Majoring Bullies are going to be pumped through the roof. Now, let's see. Opponent draws the Wild Field Scarecrow. Thanks to Rush of Adrenaline and Titanic Growth, we will be able to bake through all of this very easily. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Double Titanic Growth? No, it will have to be Rush of Adrenaline with Titanic Growth. Well, let's see. Let's continue. They do swing. I have no choice for saying this. Let's continue. My finger is on spacebar here. What does the opponent do? That's it. Okay. Uh, I'm very sorry here, buddy. So, uh, we will be putting... Hold on. Let's put Rush of Adrenaline. This should pump it up. Yes. Um. Now, do we... Yeah, let's just swing through. I mean, next turn... So let's drop Timber Park Wolf now. Next turn, I'll be able to drop double Titanic Growth. And we're swinging with Timber Park Wolf. That is insane damage that we'll be going through. Absolutely insane. Well, I don't really care what our opponent does at this point, but 8 damage plus the double pump up, that's 10 damage plus 6. So we do have lethal on the board if he does not block. Okay, he leaves the game. Well, we're up against AI here, and I do presume AI will be blocking, and if that happens, so be it. I don't really care. There we go. Let's swing, of course, with everything. Confirm. See how he blocks. Titanic Growth. Let's put Titanic Growth here. This major bully gets pumped up just enough to kill this, and we also deal crap lots of damage. Quite good. And there we go. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So there's 14 burst damage to opponent's face. He's down to 2 health. There we are, and we move on. Hmm. 
he cracks the clue token, but it doesn't matter because we've got the victory in the back. We swing with just one creature and that's more than enough. We drew into forest, I just drop this, our hand is fully empty, but that's an extra pump up. Wonderful. There we go. Now let us swing. And we win. So that was what, 6, 8 damage. Okay. Easy game number one. Let us move on to game number two. Holy crap, this works. And we're back for game number two. I've got a good feeling about this deck. I think it's gonna do just fine. Now, if I had to guess, our opponent might be Turbo Cage level 13, and he's probably blue black zombies. Let's see if that's the case. Oh, come on, game. You gotta give me more lands than that. You know what? I'll keep it. That's fine. So in this case scenario, I guess I'll drop Evolving Wilds. Hmm, we got a Cinder Glade. Not bad. Uh oh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Crap. Whoops. Well, if you can see it, you guys now know my real name. <laughs> Crap. Crazy, uh... Clip, uh, crazy uh, steam does that all the time. Oh well, there's the storm kirk. So we will probably be taking two damage to the face. Not too pleasant, but what can you do? So we draw Cinder Glade. Crap, I shouldn't have dropped the evolving wilds here now that I think about it. Oh well. So let's continue. There we go. We will take 2 damage. I'm going to be cracking Evolving Wilds, getting a uh, forest out. Why do I have Dragon Skull Summit in this deck? Uh oh. What the hell? Well anyways, let's get a forest out. That's a little bit stupid. Anyways, uh, I gotta get rid of this card. Sorry that it's here. Uh, I just literally made the deck just now. So 8 damage to the face. That is painful. Well then, so that happened, we're at 12, it's okay. Let us drop Dragon Skull Summit and get Nisa out. That will get us another land, hopefully thinning out the deck so we stop drawing into those lands. So yes please, there is the forest, wonderful. God, I can't believe I got Dragon Skull Summit in there, that's just insane. Hmm, so next turn. I can do Titanic Growth and actually Rabbit Bite, killing whatever it is he throws at us. So counter goes on the Storm Kirk, yep. And now he swings for 7 damage. Whoa. More than that even. So that's 9 damage to my face. Do I take it? I mean I have to take it for the time being, unfortunately. There we go. We're down to 3 health. So much for me saying I got a good feeling about this deck, eh? Now, let's drop in a forest. Uh, we can do rabbit bite. And then what? No, that ain't right. Well, let's see. Titanic growth, titan strength, rush of adre adrenaline. I mean, how much damage is that? 2, 5, 9, 11. So, you know what? We lost this anyways. Let's confirm. See how he handles this. Does he choose to block? Takes it. So, Rush of Adrenaline. Titan Strength. Titanic Growth. There we go. 6-6. Six, six. Eh, doesn't matter at this point. 9 and 11, 8 Nisa swinging. Opponent drops down to 9 health. Hey, I can say I went down fighting. Okay, guys, well, that's episode number 2. I mean, game number 2. Let us move on to game number 3 now. And we're back for game number 3. Okay. So, so far, this deck seems to be able to do burst damage. That much is clear. However, except that, I don't see how it can do much else. Ladino. Okay. Let's move on. 
we've got majoring bullets. So I'm going to keep this hand here. Dropping a walling wild, cinder glade. And then, based on what our opponent will do, I will either double Majoring Bully and wait for everything else, or Majoring Bully and then start doing Confront the Unknown, Rush of Adrenaline, bunch of stuff like that. Okay, anyways, let's see what he does. In this case, I think I want to draw into a forest. I'll crack it too. So, forest for me. And what should it be for you, buddy? Come on now. It is ooh, white. Okay then. Not bad, not bad. Oh wow. We just need one more land. Wait. <gasps> Two or more basic ones. Okay. We need one more land. The second I draw that land out, Hanver Garrison comes out and the fun begins. So we're up against Vampire Deck. Well, my version of Vampire sucked, so let's see if our opponent's version is any better. Prey Upon. Hmm. Well, Prey Upon is pretty good, because if he drops any creature with less than 3 damage, I can have Majoring Bully fight it, and I'll come out victorious in that case. Not to mention, actually I can do Confront the Unknown and... Okay. That settles it. Prey Upon on Dranus Emissary will be happening here. Can we draw into land please? Well, that's Looming Spires. So, let's drop Looming Spires. Let me follow this up with the Prey Upon. Which is a creature we control. Let's fight this. This gets pumped up. Now, since we're at it, and I can, let's confront the unknown. Pump this up even farther. Wonderful. So we'll be hitting him for 6 damage. Not bad, I gotta say. There we go. Let's confirm. Now, it's too bad we didn't have the second majoring bully, but it's okay, I guess. There we go. We swung. Dealt some serious damage there, and we move on. He's at 14, and one Dranus Emissary short. So far, so good. I gotta say, the artwork for this kinda sucks. It's very... How do I put this? Pixelated, almost, I'd say. Hmm, well, there's Vampire Envoy. And Rush of Adrenaline should be able to take care of it, no problem. We can do Hunter Garrison. Ah, oh. Let's continue, let us just swing here very very quickly, let's confirm. Will he block? If he does, ooh, he doesn't. Okay, so we will be dropping Hunter Garrison because... I'm... how can we not? That is a wonderful card. I haven't gotten to play this card so far yet. And just recently that I've unlocked everything necessary for it, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to pull off some insane combos with it. Next turn I can Rush of Adrenaline both of these guys. Worst case scenario I can double Rush of Adrenaline Majoring Bully and pump it up insanely high. So there we go. Either way we do have lethal for his Vampire Envoy if he does decide to block something. However this Assassin... Hmm. Not too happy about that, actually. Either way, we'll be swinging. We'll see how he responds. Whatever response it is he has, our rush of adrenaline will come through and the opponent will be dead. So, no attacking of any sorts shall commence. Wonderful. There we go. Now, are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. I can... Double Rush of Adrenaline and Prey Upon. Thus, taking care of, let's say, his Assassin. Oh, jeez. Or I can single Rush of Adrenaline, he's the, he's gar uh, the Garrison. Swing, uh, uh, Prey Upon. Yes, that's the plan. So, Rush of Adrenaline, Hanver Garrison. That gets pumped up. Wonderful. Now, we prey upon... On... This. Oh no, actually we prey upon on Vampire Envoy. Wonderful. This gets pumped up. There we go. Let's continue. Attack with everything. Confirm. See how he blocks. If he blocks any of these guys, I swear I'm blocking. Yes! Thank you. 
Rush of Adrenaline goes here. Majoring Bully gets pumped up. This dies. And oh my god, this is crazy. Holy crap, he's down to one health. Or two health, my bad. Wow. Okay, we've got victory in the back here. That's it. It doesn't matter whatever it is our opponent chooses to do, he's dead. With everything we've got, unless if he has mass removal, that's a victory. Damn, that was a nice one. So there's Call of the Bloodline. He might get some life gain out of it. But even then... Okay, so let's say he does Call of the Bloodline. One mana. He does so right now. I'm not sure why. He's level 17 Ladino, so he should know better than that. Oh, that's why. Avacyn's Judgment will be going for Garrison here. I presume. Wait. Oh, he did it just for one? Well, that's a bit silly, I gotta say. Okay, if we draw into a single pump-up spell, we win. Do we? There's the Handwear Battlements. So let's drop Handwear Battlements. Let's drop a Majin Bully, but not this way. This way. We're using Handwear Battlements now to give haste to our Majin Bully here. There we go. Majin Bully gains haste. We swing, even if he does block, we don't care because we've got the victory. There we go, attack with all. Oh, oh wait, we had the victory just because of the Handwear Garrison, I forgot about it. Anyways, that is game number three. A wonderful victory. And now, let us move on to game number four. And we're back for game number four. Now, can we get another victory here? I believe it is possible, actually. Given how well game number one and game number three went, game number two was, well, we lost pretty badly, but I believe this one can go well. So it's okay. Uh, only problem here is I really do hope our opponent does not disconnect. So, oh hi Mark. Oh God. If so, for those of you that don't know, there is a movie. I think it's called The Room or something. Keep hands. So we do have our major bully. Wonderful. Um, that is pretty much the worst movie made ever. So do look it up for those of you guys that don't know, I highly recommend it. it. The movie itself is just painful, has one of the worst acting ever seen. And yeah, I just have no comments as to how bad it is. Ooh. Well then, um, I really do hope there is no twin ball going for my Majoring Bull. Let's drop a forest, let's drop the Majoring Bull. There we are. Next turn, Looming Spires and Titan Strength on a Major Bully. Well, unless if we draw into something much, much more juicy, but I don't know if that's feasible. So, blue and... Mm -hmm. So, he might have a burn there. Oh, he drops a Major Bully of his own. Okay, then. That should be fun. Do I really want to do Titan Strength? Yes, if he doesn't block, it is going to be Titan Strength on the Major Bully. So, let's continue. Kind of unfortunate, actually, that we kept on drawing into the lands. Shouldn't be that one of them. Oh, Titan Strength, Major Bully. Wonderful. Oh god, that is so painful. 7 damage to his face. Looming Spires. Oh, okay, you know. No. No, actually, let's keep it. Wait, why did I keep it? Oh no! I shouldn't have kept it. Ay, 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 ay. Because I wanted to drop a forest with Flame Shadow Conjuring, that would have been much better. So our opponent's down to 13 health. Wonderful. We do have Looming Spires that will be coming out next, but I don't think I'll be dropping it just yet. I'll probably go forest into Flame Shadow Conjuring and only then do Looming Spires after. There is Lightning Axe, kills our Major Bully, unfortunately. Oh well, so be it, that's fine. There we are, what is he going to discard there? Hmm, okay, Garrett's entire makes sense, so... We get hit only for 3 damage. Eh, it's fine. I mean, our opponent's down to 30. It can't be worse than what we have right now out on the board. So, we, we take some damage, it's okay. And we move on. Now let's drop a forest, let's flame shadow conjure, 
Wonderful. And next turn, I do hope to draw into a creature. However, if we don't draw into a creature, I'm also okay because double flame shadow conjuring. I mean, you can't get better than that. So let's say we draw into. Well, if we draw into Major and Bully, I won't be able to do that. But if we draw into Timber Pocket, for example, that that's actually one of the best case scenarios. If we draw into Timber Pack Wolf, and I have double Flame Shadow Conjuring out, I'll be able to have three Timber Pack Wolves out. There'll be four four with the Looming Spires attached on one of them. Wow, that is actually 13 damage out of the curve. However, we drew into a Majoring Bully. Hmm. Well then, let's play the Majoring Bully. I will Flame Shadow Conjure him. Yes, please. Let's do Looming Spires. There we are. And let us swing. Confer. Not bad, gotta say. It is decent. Okay, so our opponent's down to 10. I guess he chose not to block because he'll be dropping us down to 10 next turn. So it's fine. Actually, not even 10. He might drop us even lower. So, forgotten creation. Does he discard? He chose not to. Okay, then. Oh, no. Our major bully will be tapped for quite a while now. So, my only hope here is to... I don't even know what the hell can I do to survive this thing. Next turn will be dealt 7 damage. If he does swing with everything, that is. We drew into Evolving Wilds. I'm going to drop Flame Shadow Conjuring here. Yeah, he gets pumped, unfortunately, but not much will occur. I'm going to be dropping the Evolving Wilds. And you know what? I will thin it out. So let's get another Mountain out. Confirm. I was going to keep actually evolving wilds here, but then when I realized that we've been so severely mana flooded here, I don't know if I feel comfortable leaving an extra land there for an extra chance to draw into it. That's why. Because one of the greatest things would have been if we drew, let's say, into Malachi Familiar, I double copy. Oh, this has haste, we're dead. Okay, guys, well, anyways, that is game number four. No need to plan anymore. Yeah, there we go. So. What does this do? Yeah, so we're up to game number four. We lost it. Let us move on to game number five now. And we're back for game number five. Okay, so win, loss, win, loss. Therefore, this one must be a win. Lambert Music 06. And we're up against level one upon. You know what? I know before in the past I've spoken way ahead of oh no you know a little bit too early but oh come on really okay no 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 that's it opponent might as well just leave i don't know what the hell is going on here okay guys uh that's a victory let us move on to the next game i promise you i'm not going to torture you with this crap and we're back for game number five as you'll see from my rank, I kinda rose up a little bit. This is game number 6 for me, but the previous game, as I promised you guys, I'm not going to subject you to crappy, very boring games, so that's why, you know, I'll filter them whenever I can. Ooh, Slide Runner or Major Bully? I think, or Team, oh, oh my god, keep this hand, hold on. Our opponent is Jack, Jack's, um, Jack's male, Alexander. Jack Sam Alexandra. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So let's drop a forest. We've got double timber timber pack wolf. Holy crap. Double team if we draw into one more, I'm gonna freak out here. So there is commando. Eh, that's fine. Deals one damage. Who cares? Let's drop a mountain. Oh, no! What the hell, game? Why would you do this? What? Oh my god, no! 
Why? This is so bad. Oh god, this is bad. Why? Well, you know, on the offside, I can prey a pawn on his commando there. But what the hell? This is just... Mm. Well, there is the bridge trend. So... Let's continue. This guy's got a swing. Confirm attack. Let's keep block. Oh, please block. Okay, our opponent is level 3, so I'm not going to blame him for this. Brute strength. There we go. He's level 3, right? Jack Sam Alexander. Okay. I think I got that. So anyways, we kill that. Not to mention there is trample damage going through. There we are. Wonderful. Our opponent's down to 15 health. Not to mention we also have prey upon on already. But... Jeez, how do I wish we had Timber Pack Wolf out? I mean, I could have played my second Timber Pack Wolf and just went on swinging. Everything would have been fine. And I would have been happy there. Oh well. There we go. Um, I can drop a McKinsey Slide Runner. Don't want to swing with the Majoring Bully, really. I mean, I can swing with the Majoring Bully and then prey upon. That might work, so let's continue first. Majoring Bully has to attack, let's confirm it. He blocks, please block. Okay, smart. I mean, not smart, which is good for me. So now, all I gotta do is just prey upon. Uh, choose a creature you control, choose a creature to fight. This gets pumped up. Doesn't do enough damage, we kill it. Wonderful. There we go. Now, do I drop this Evolving Wilds? Yeah, let's just go ahead with it. Confirm. Well, if I crack the Evolving Wilds now, I can hand very Garrus. So, that is a possibility. He's at 4, 15 life. Way more lands than we got, unfortunately. And there's a Kalitas Traitor of Camp. So, there is an issue with that, actually. Let's sacrifice Evolving Wilds first of all. Draw into uh, green. Confirm. Thank you. Okay, this Kalitas is going to be a little bit troublesome here. We can draw the Battlements. Okay. Uh, how much mana do we need for transformation? We need 5 mana. Hmm. Well, 6. Speaking in the way. What the hell do I do with this? I can drop Timper Pack Wolf and then I can pray upon now, but if I pray upon now, this guy dies. Just outright dies, and that's it. What I can do is let him swing, and then yes, that makes sense. So we'll kill his Kalitas. I'm okay with this. Confirm. See how he handles this. Is he going to be stupid and block again? I don't think he should be. But, yep. He is. That is working to our advantage, thankfully. I'm going to actually lose here Slide Runner if, instead of Timber Pack Wolf. So, we drop a Slide Runner. Heck, I could have dropped uh, Garrison actually. That would have killed him. Oh well, let's pray upon. There we go. And then that's that. I'm happy. Wonderful. Well, he gets juice from this, but who cares? No more life gain for him. I still don't understand how he gained so much life. Oh, because twice. Three and three, six life. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. There is the blood flow connoisseur. That is fine. And indulgent aristocrat. Okay, also. So he can actually feed his zombies to indulgent aristocrat and he'll be better off that way. We take 4 damage dropping down to 16 and he's a 21 now. Hmm. Not happy with that. I'll be honest, not happy at all. Okay. Anyways, there we are. 
Now let us double timber Ooh, a mountain also. We drop this. We drop timber pack. I should have tapped my mana way better than this just now. And also since we have mana, let's drop Garrison just to be more mana efficient. There we go. Okay, no attacking, no nothing of a kind. Moving on. There will be some damage dealt to us and it will be painful. It will be really painful actually. Well then, he drops a storm character. That's making things even more painful now. So that's a 2-2. Two -two. He's doing it all for the life gain sake. That's fine, but he shouldn't really be swinging with anything here. Smart guy. That is good. Now, can we draw into an instant? Or maybe another prey upon would be nice? Nope, it just had to be a forest. Now, we do have mana for this. Let me see what this transforms into. It becomes a 7-4, Trample Haste. Are you kidding me? But this thing can kill it so easily. You know what? I mean... I gotta do the transformation. I haven't had a chance to do this. How can I miss out on this? Ah, uh, not going to attack though, unfortunately. Skip the attack and continue. Yeah, we've got a 7 4 monstrosity, yes. But I, I don't like what our opponent's cooking up here. And plus, if I swung with this, all he had to do is just block with the Storm Kick Mentor, and that's it. It's over. Boulder Salvo. Are you kidding me? No. No. Oh no. Oh that's so painful. I finally get my breathing township and it dies without me even getting to do it. Well that's just great, ain't it? Okay, I'll take this damage. Keeps that back and keeps that back and keeps this back. Okay, four damage dropping down to twelve. Well, what can I do? That happened. Hmm. So, what is next for us? It's Looming Spires. Really, game? You just had to go there? Well, might as well just swing. We're dead anyways. That's another loss right there. Ah, and here I'm thinking this deck could have performed so much better than that. Oh well. We swing. I don't think he should be blocking. He'll just drop down to 17. I don't think he cares about it. And next turn he has what? 6, 7, 8, plus 4, uh, 12 damage out on the board. However, if he's smart, and he probably is going to be, well, he's level 3, but he might be smart as it is, he will sacrifice both of these zombies, pump these guys up, and then I can't really do anything about it. So let's see if he chooses to do so. And I think he should. So there is a land. Really? Okay, well, we are dead no matter how you look at it. No getting out of this. We've been a little bit mana flooded. I'm really sad about losing the garrison there. Or I mean, breathing township, but hey, what can you do? Shit happens. So there we are. Opponent does the platform. Can you sacrifice thing? That's. That's a really silly thing to do, honestly. Oh, come on. Honestly? Well, whatever. So, he can do 8 damage, I guess. Wait, what? Okay. And... There's the swinging, I guess. He only swings at the 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I'll take 4 damage, drop to 8, but this is a lost game anyways. Okay guys, well, that's game number 5. Let us move on to final game number 6. Now, concede. 
And we're back for the final game of this episode. Okay, well, if we win this one, I'd say it's a break even. So, Halkan Navaja, level 20 opponent. Should I say level or should I say rank? I wonder. Um, Timber Pack will burn. Oh my god, keeping this hand. Absolutely. For sure, keeping it. Okay, so let's start off here with. Evolving wilds, I guess. What do we draw into first? Hey, we drew. Crap, I forgot to replace Dragon Skull Summit from this deck. Well, you know what? We drop Dragon Skull Summit. It's okay. We'll let our opponent think that we're black and red instead of red and green. So, it's okay. It's a diversion tactic. There is the Lone Rider. It's okay. We can take care of it. Hopefully he has no pump up though. And there is the battlements, wonderful. Timber pack wolf comes out. If he doesn't do anything, I'm next turn doing prey upon on his lone rider and thus absolutely killing it as soon as I can. Worst case scenario I can board hostility and prey upon. I will lose my timber pack wolf, but he will be losing his lone rider for sure. Now, this is just an invitation here for me to lose my Timber Pack Wolf. <laughs> yeah, white, red definitely has some scary ass removal in there. And he does. Well, what did I say? There was going to be scary ass removal, and I would have lost my Timber Pack Wolf. So, although this thing is going to transform into 4 4. We can easily deal with it using our borrowed hostility, so I'm okay with it. The only thing I'm sad about is we're down to 16, but whatever. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here's the cool part here. There is rabbit bite we've got, which is good. So, we can drop a forest. Let's do so. This is an instant. But that's not good. So, we can do borrowed hostility. Prey upon... No, 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 that doesn't work. I can do rabbit bite. Or, no, that's also not good. Hmm, crap, how do I handle this? Board hostility... And then rabbit bite? On eat that rights as one? Okay. Let's draw Borrowed Hostility here. Finish. On this. Now I can easily Rabbit Bite. And kill this. And then give him a chance to sacrifice his uh, Majorant Bully if he so chooses. Let's see if that happens. I do hope that happens. If it doesn't, it's also fine. I think he will sacrifice. Probably should, I think. Will he? No, he doesn't. So he's dropping down to 19. Probably has something really scary cooked up in there. I don't know what it could be, but I'm already starting to shake a little bit there in fear. Okay, attack. And... That's it? No pump-ups? That's... Well... Okay, in this case I can easily do Prey Upon and kill his Eorus Champion. The thing that sucks is we have Evolving Wilds. Too many Evolving Wilds makes me sad, but... Prey Upon. Kill, kill. There we go. No double striking of any sorts shall happen here. Let's sacrifice this and let us get a Mountain. There we go. Now I do hope we start drawing into creatures because this mana flooding, it's quite frustrating. Let's just put it that way. And since this is the last game, I'd like to see something better than just a pure mana flood. Okay, there is the top and free blade. Fair enough. If we draw into a creature actually, I can hand wear battlement. Oh, very smart. Uh, I can drop the creature, hand wear battlements and give that creature haste. I don't know how, what's the point of it, but I can do that. So Majoring Bully drops us down to 11. Fair enough. 
we drew into Hanver Garrison. How awesome is that? So I probably won't be swinging here because he can kill us with the top and free play. So what I'll be doing is going Evolving Wilds, Sacrifice Evolving Wilds, getting a mountain out, and there we go. You know what? While we're at it, why not prey upon and just murder this thing? Thalia's lieutenant can only get larger and I don't want none of that happening here. Let me continue and we move on. Wonderful. Now we do have the mana to do handware battlements. Quickly get the transformation out and start going to town. Will that happen though? So he's swinging with this. Uh, skipping blocking of course. We take 6 damage and drop down to 5. That's a scary slash painful part. However, with the Hanver Garrison transform, don't tell me that. Oh, come on, really? Okay, we've got looming spires. Okay, how does a Hanver battlements come in? Oh, I can't even drop Hanver battlements now because of this. Ah, screw it. Let's just confirm attack. Well, that's... He just blocks this with this. We're... That's it. That's a loss. Okay, guys. Anyways, there we go. Game number one. I, I mean, game number six. Sorry. I think I'm a little bit sleep deprived. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys in other episodes. Okay, then. Bye. And by the way, this week, it's going to be all red and green. Bye. Thank you for watching.